And we're at the back of West Street, down the alley. And there's a bloody big hole. And obviously a new uh, power supply. That they've dug up all the way, it goes on for like ever. One assumes, <coughs> because it's coming from the building site, and other pipes are coming from the building site, it's all to do with uh, the, the build, buildings. <coughs> now the big question is, why have they had to come on to other people's property? I'm not sure legally here, but in most of the area, each house owns the little block outside their house but you do have to give access so you can bet your bottom dollar and we'll have bets on this <coughs> that <coughs> these don't put these stones back they'll slat a bit of tarmac it's not their property they won't restore it as it was with these Stones and the slat a bit of town up. What, what, to uh, what we're betting on that? Well, as to this, still messing about with this wheel, and it's not that much grip, is it? We've had it all bloody done by now, grinding away at something. They built it out for the time he's messed about with it. On well, McDonald's, we've now got a date for the opening, which is the 27th of March. They are the other side of the river, of course, but uh, certainly acted quicker than the bus station, haven't they? to the outside of the building seems to be uh, more or less finished now and a little bit on that corner but we have actually got an open date now well Earl Street and the new island at the end is now open still everything's blocked off the alleyway at the sides closed so you have to walk for miles around the outside I wonder when they're doing all this, if they're actually going to solve the problem of the, uh, the river when it rains. It seems an awful lot of work for something that's lasted 25 years when they've got no money. Well the old library, they're certainly showing it to use boss. They've now got two diggers on site, so once they've got so much down they can actually start to get more machines on and they are spraying water to keep the uh, dust down it must be <clears throat> probably towards 50% now they haven't got the scaffold in the police station make sure that doesn't come down Better view from a bit further around. Yeah, probably over 50%. So we've got digger working there in one ear as a spare. <laughs> and certainly all this section is down. We have a machine that's spraying the water. Another view a bit further round. See so, you now uh, there's the jet of water keeping it all nice and dry. Again you can see the amount of steel in the uh, you can see that very well with the amount of steel in it, it's unbelievable. HSBC is temporary closed because they've got a bloody big hole. We've just seen them taking a new cash for in actually, but 
to go, so it's, it's only temporary. Swinging around, we see that the road's going to be closed from the 19th of February to the 10th of March. So that should uh, be fun. I'm presuming the 10th of March is when they're actually going to finish this monstrosity, I mean the car park. The old post office on the corner is now being renovated. They've got workmen in doing it. Should be open a bit later in the year as a sort of a beauty thing. Near £22,000 a year in rent. The bus station is now taking down all the barriers and replacing the barriers with more barriers. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but nevertheless. the transparent barriers are easier to remove. <laughs> we have got some new flags being laid or cobbles whichever you want to call them. I'm trying to get in on the, into the car park and can't because of bloody big old. By the old Victoria pub, and the road's now closed. Because they're getting a uh, bloody big hole. Quite what's happened there. But it always seems to happen when you've got the cobbles, which are alright, and they whack bloody tarmac in. Well, that's not good. It's a big hole. And we do have major hole digging down the. Uh, Samuel Street. I don't know whether somebody's lost the five and they're digging old to find it, but some bloody big holes. So the road is supposed to be closed, but you can get down with a bit of luck. And there's electric, there's all sorts of pipes in there. Somebody's been on the old. Uh, doing graffiti. Well they are putting barriers outside the actual bus station now, presumably to stop you rolling out and getting run over by the bus. We've still got them messing with this roof and we're not quite sure what's going on. But the massive clean up, because we've got probably four weeks left before it's open, so we've had to clear all this millions of tons of rubble. So it's reasonably uh, flat, we've still got a digger there, so presumably when they go this is how it's going to be left. We're still not sure about that on the top, we, we thought it was going to be solar panels but at the moment it just seems to be open, I don't know what's going on there. The old library they've now got uh, the scaffolding on site. Because they've got to scaffold a lot of the stuff. Just sort of make them up there putting it up, like the police station and the court. Because in this middle bit it's been fairly straightforward, but they don't want to bring the police station down at this stage, do they? So there's a lot of scaffolding going up. The diggers have stopped at the moment until they can scaffold it properly. Well, we can now actually see the bus station in all its uh, glory. And we've got these bloody big bloody barriers there. Certainly a lot of glass. That's full steam ahead on the actual bus station. Got lots of people scurrying about. So we've only got a couple of weeks probably left now to get the whole job finished. These barriers they put are really heavy barriers. I wonder what this is going to be like in the summer, being all glass. Yeah. We can't 
can see the whole area now is flattened. Zoom in, this is the stage it's going to be left in. It's still around the other side. Most of this is probably in a state to be left in if it's going to be a garden. To HSBC is still closed, but they have got a nice pretty cash machine. They are in the library. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, pop up service in the library. So it's only a temporary closure. Well, they are still progressing with the library. They've still got the squirty squirty machine. <laughs> Once we get in there, the big problem is this, this other bit here. You see, we've got the scaffolding at the back to protect the court. So this has been fairly straightforward in a way that nothing bad's going to happen. Up there, they've got to take the care, yeah, wrong, wrong move, and you've got the court and the police station on the big pile of rubble, haven't you? We have got two machines on site now. They couldn't do anything, it's such a small area, they got one machine in there, that's as much as they could do. But we are progressing. Interesting bit when they come start knocking the main building down. We've still got confusion on Earl Street because this pavement there's blocked. And you've got one guy working and half a dozen uh, supervising. said the actual roundabout, whatever you want to call it, it's open. And they don't seem to be making much progress there, since we don't know what they're doing anyway. 